And then you go on social media and it's just full of people super happy, sharing their dinners, their family, their celebration. And you're sitting there just like, damn, my life sucks so bad. A bit of a different video today, guys, but I just wanted to say before we get into it, I know what it's like to feel, you know, lonely, alone, down, you know, feeling just like in the, in the dumps, you know, in the depths of hell, just like thinking there's no, you just don't know where to turn, you feel like purposeless, and you just think there's so much missing in your life, and you start comparing yourself to everyone else, so, and your mind just goes on this constant loop, and just downwards, 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 down, and you just think like, you know, <laughs> well, what, what am I doing, like, how do I get out of this hole? I remember there was a lot period of time as well when I was super down and I just <laughs> literally didn't know what to do with myself and I was just like thinking about life and then just going for like these walks by myself and I was just like you know trying to figure things out like how to improve this like how to improve like this terrible situation because you kind of just feel like you're in the ocean you're in like a paddle boat just by yourself and you're just like I don't have a compass I don't have a map I just what what do I do? How do how do I get to where everyone else is? You know, everyone else has got this sorted out. They're on this island over there. I don't even know where the island is. Do you know what I mean? So if, if you feel down and just and you feel alone, down in the in the in the dumps, just know you're not the only one. Okay, there's millions of other people, you know, feeling the same way. During this time of the holidays, it can be really tough for people and unwise because, you know, some people don't have family. You may not have family. You know, you may not have that many friends. You may be in a new city, isolated, and you, and you couldn't get home. You could be away, you could have kids and you could be away from your child, your children. For the first year, you don't know how to deal with that. You're feeling a bit lonely. All these different things so many people are struggling with, you know, you may be struggling with. You now things I've struggled with, and this can really mess up your mental state. And there's a lot of things we do ourselves to make it even worse, you know, which we need to kind of cut out. And a few of these things I want to share today because I think they will help quite a lot. When we're feeling down in the dumps, we kind of tend to isolate ourselves even more. You know, we can't be asked to you know, either go out and see anything or, or see anyone. So we just stay in our rooms, stay in the houses. We just watch Netflix, social media, okay? Over the holidays, you're feeling down in the dumps for whatever reason, cut out social media because it will just tank your mental health even more. And, and why? Because your situation may suck in the moment. You may be feeling down, lonely, you know, it may not have family or, you know, whatever your situation may be and then you go on social media, you go on Instagram, and there's just floods and floods of people like hashtag so grateful. They got pictures of their family. They look like they're having a great time. They're cutting up the turkey, this, that, the other. And you're sitting there and you're just like, well, my life sucks. I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here alone. I haven't even made Christmas dinner. I'm just on my 10th chocolate, you know. I feel even worse about myself. Constantly comparing yourself to other people. This is why social media will be so toxic for you over the holidays. You need to cut that out. You need to resist the urge to see what Sally's doing or, or James or whatever, because they're, they're, they're having a great time. And you're, you're, just, <laughs> you're just sitting there on your 10th season of whatever show you've been watching, feeling like crap. What I'd urge you to do instead is, is there any events going on around that period, you know, which you can like force yourself to go out and surround yourself with other people? I know you probably can't be bothered, this, that, the other, but you just have to do it, okay? You have to do it for yourself, do it for your own mental state. You know, get around other people, any festive events or this, that, the other. Do you have any friends? I know some people might not have many friends, but if you do, are they doing anything? Can you drop them a quick message? Or oh, are you doing anything this day? Maybe not on Christmas, but maybe, Maybe the day after or the day after that, do you know what I mean? Just something, just something that will help you get through. Or maybe you host something, you know? Do you, do you know other people that may be in the same situation or some people that need help? When you host a dinner for once or invite some people in, maybe you could do that, just an idea. Things to switch it up just to keep yourself busy. And we talked about mental health, like mental health is so important. And during the holidays, especially if you're in, you're in one of these situations when you're feeling down, you're feeling alone, lonely. You need to look after your mental health, you know? Like we say cut out the social media, but, but what else can you do? Some people I know hate exercise, but you really need to, you need to exercise in whatever form that looks like for you. It could be a simple walk, okay? Just go for a simple walk, put your headphones in. Listen to your favorite music, a podcast, an audio book, okay? Some that kind of brings a bit of, you know, light into the dark moment. I think that really helps. When you start moving your body, your mind gets a bit more clear. You start reflecting a bit, you know. You feel a bit better than, than what you did just slouched on the couch. I know at the beginning, you're like, oh, I can't be asked, but when you just get moving, you know, you'll be proud of yourself. 10 minutes into the walk, 15 minutes into the walk, you'll be glad you did it. 
that or it could just be like weight training you know I mean, one of these people just push yourself with weight so I couldn't be asked to do it at the start. But when you get going and the endorphins start running, you start feeling good about yourself and then you're proud of yourself, you know. Your self-esteem goes up, your self-belief and your confidence goes up. Yes, I, you know, I did this thing. And then you think, I'll do this thing again tomorrow. And then you start feeling good while you're doing that thing. And if you can make that a routine as well, you know, each day, it really does help your mental health. You know what I used to like doing as well? Going for a walk with, with like a coffee, a simple coffee, and just taking a walk through the park or wherever you are. Just, just clearing your mind, walking headphones in with a coffee. The little things in life really do make a big difference, especially when you're struggling, you know? They make a massive difference. And something as small as going for a walk with a coffee with your favorite music or, or podcast, that can help your mental health so much. I've done that in the past. I still do that sometimes, okay? It can really help. Talk about being busy, you know, just to keep yourself, keep yourself active or on the go, so you're not wallowing in, so you're not wallowing in, in your current situation. Learning a skill, learning a new skill, is a good thing to do as well. Maybe back in the day you were playing music or you were learning the guitar or whatever, and you want to go back to that. So why not go back to that? Maybe you want to paint. You know, some people start to learn how to paint or draw, photography, these different creative outlets. Like, and you're gonna suck at it first? Well, yeah, that's fine. But then if you start enjoying it and you keep on doing it and it keeps you busy, and you enjoy doing it over time, brings you some happiness, you like it, you're enjoying it, why not incorporate something like that? I remember I was learning the guitar ages ago, okay? And then I just kind of, for whatever reason, I just kind of just, I don't just stop playing it. You know, so maybe I'll go back and revisit that. Maybe I'll learn a few, a few more notes, a few more songs, you know? To be honest, I can't remember how to play anything. But that's fine. Just learn it again and then enjoy learning it. I just want to say as well, you know, you could be the person that's feeling down in the dumps, you know, over the holidays, but you may also know someone who's, uh, who's feeling the same way. You know what I say? That they may be suffering, they may be feeling alone, lonely. Why not drop them a message? Why not drop them a voice note? Why not, you know, call them or give them a video call or just a video? These little things, they make a massive difference. And you don't... <laughs> You don't know how much someone does appreciate something like that. You know, they may not talk much about it, you know, saying, oh, thanks for reaching out or, or whatever. But deep down, you know, and I know everyone responds differently, but, but they'll really appreciate that. Or maybe you can organize something, go out, do an activity, or just simply talk. But then you've reached out to that person, and then, you know, they don't feel as alone because they got you and you got them. So I want to finish the video by saying so many people feel like this. You know, I felt like this. And you can overcome this, you know. This period could be, you know, sad, down, a bit depressing, but you will get through it. Just incorporate a few of these things I said. I hope they do help you. They've helped me in the past, so I think they can help you. Just try and stick to them, okay? Easier said than done, but just do your best. With that being said, I wish you all the best and just know you can get through this, okay? Just take it one day at a time. You got this.